It was a late evening when Betty Osceola contacted me and asked me if I wanted to take a ride with her across the Florida Everglades. As always, I decided I was going to, because the beauty that is found here cannot be put into words. It cannot be described. It is something that you must experience, and so we did. We ventured forward with Captain Planet to traverse the Florida Everglades, to do a little island hopping, and to just merely enjoy everything that we encountered out here. Every time I traverse the Everglades, every time I ride out here, every time I get on an airboat and glide the river of grass, I'm at a loss of words because it is just simply a majestic and blessed experience that fills your heart with warmth and makes you appreciate everything about life, especially in that moment. So we decided to stop over at this, uh, at this spot Want to check out the area? Small camp over here. Find a little guy named Bo. Hey, boy. What's up, buddy? One eye Bo. There he is. Look at that. What's up, buddy? Yeah. We meet the coolest people out here and the coolest animals out here every single time. We quickly got back on the airboat after a short break and decided to head out to the first island we were going to stop and see. The Everglades is the largest remaining subtropical wilderness in the United States. It consists of 1.5 million acres of soil grass, marshes, mangrove forests, and hardwood hammocks dominated by wetlands. And it is truly majestical in every sense of the way. So sure enough, we got caught in the rain. A trip in the Everglades is no fun unless you get wet. All right. Uh, sorry about that. She's coming down hard. We're gonna hang out on this island. Um, just uh, let the storm pass before we move forward. Thank God there are uh, cheeky huts and stuff here. Keep us uh, dry. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay, I really would take care of them. <laughs> be dead now. That's how you get rid of a colony of ants. Just spray them down. So we got a little surprise rain. It's uh surprise that wood is dry. Whew. It is what it is, George. You just come to play and see what you're talking about. It's beautiful. You got a lighter? Yeah, my best friend. Okay. We got a hatchet, too. Yeah. I... That's a sweet looking cut on that thing. I'm like telling you. Viking. Yep. Yeah, right? It's like Ragnar holding it. In the Everglades, you get to see a bunch of vast critters and animals. And every once in a while, you see, just see one thing that really is out of place but surprises you. Shall we look at it? <laughs> look at that. Cricketsgettingjiggy.com. Cricket, <laughs> cricket porn. Get your cricket porn. It's a lover, not a lover. <laughs> this time of the what year, are you doing? Are you surprised? Say hi to the camera. As I walked away from the crickets and their interlude, I really decided to walk around just to get the full feel of where I was at. To document this beauty to show the world how simply gorgeous it is out here. The rain has stopped and we decided to uh, get a little lunch, take it easy before we move on. If you hear a loud noise from the distance, it's because I-75 is that way. So that is all the noise from uh, the vehicles driving by. It's a shame really because it breaks apart the 
the peace and the harmony that's out here. This is serenity, this is Florida, this is everything that uh, so many people hold dear and so few people know about. Except for those that come out here, the indigenous tribes, the glazed men, those who have camps out here. It's a very peaceful and serene place where you can find comfort knowing that you're with God in nature. And other than the sound of I-75 over there, you're literally in heaven. Even with the sound of the vehicles, you can hear the birds in the distance. As we left the island, we knew we may have to dodge another storm. So we proceeded onward to our next location and hoped that we could get there in time. This is not a place to be caught in a storm. Definitely not a lightning storm. As the rain pelted down upon us and hit our skin, you could feel the impact of the rain stinging upon you. We had to find shelter. We had to find some place to get out of the storm that was just ahead. To be out there and be around such a huge storm it really takes your breath away because not only is it beautiful, but you know how dangerous it could be, especially on a metal boat heading to a lightning storm. With Betty as the captain of this boat, I knew we were safe. I knew that she would take care of us and sure we found safety. I will not lie when I state that we were all concerned because here we were entering the belly of the beast. Rushing against time to beat the storm before she hit us. We found an overpass on Alligator Alley. Here is where we we're gonna find refuge. Perhaps it was not the right choice, but it was the only option we had. It was either that or take the risk of getting hit by lightning. Being said, we're cutting off until the storm passes. <laughs> After excessive winds, lots of rain, and incredible thunder and lightning, thank God the storm had passed on, and we were on our way to the next island that we were going to visit. This path we were now taking was so overgrown. 
you cannot help but get spiders in your face or some type of bug on top of you because it's rarely managed so it just grows wild in abundance and you have to veer your way through there as carefully as you can with the airboat It was still raining because the storm just passed us by. We were actually riding its tail, slowly but surely, trying to make our way to this next island. To be able to glide through these forests of cypress makes you realize how small you are in this earth, how tiny you truly are. And it makes you come to terms that Everything that's out there that society tells you to believe and truth merely takes you away from this this beautiful experience this amazing journey and this wonderful and outstanding location that brings you so close to God and nature I believe it truly completes me in so many ways A real man isn't racist, you know, or, you know, like, like, try to kind of curb what that European style of being an alpha male is, you know what I mean? Or to us, like, well, a, a real, a real, well, listen, <laughs> a, a real man will pick up one of those freaking grasshoppers right now and eat it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sensing some peer pressure. <laughs> Well, you know, I was just trying to help you out, man. Oh, so they're gonna read you? Oh, nice. Oh, wow. See how that one chicky oh, is? Oh, I like that. It has the, the bottom part? Yeah. I was thinking of doing that to one of the chickies on Pier Island. We should, for camping? Yeah. For camping. 100%. I think that looks awesome. This is really nice. You know that, Betty? Yeah. What are the raised tables for? Like for beds or something? Yeah. And I guess they could put the ceiling so you wouldn't have to put a mosquito net. Yeah, well, that's See, huge. I wouldn't put the ceiling. I would screen it in like this. No, that ceiling is fun. To, listen, you don't want no scorpions on your ass. That ceiling is perfect. That's, that's the Puerto Rican floor. Listen. <laughs> listen, my ass almost got bit by a damn scorpion okay my that's ass almost got bit by a scorpion <laughs> all i have to see is one damn scorpion and that's enough for that me that was awesome that's the puerto rican and he george the mikasuki and me doesn't want a ceiling <laughs> come on i hang some lights in that shit too come on oh, that's awesome. Are you kidding me i hang some that's led so lights funny. in there write a song about betty called you bring out the redneck and me <laughs> <laughs> you, bring the, you bring out the puerto rican and me Little rice and beans, and I don't know what else. Well, what's over here? Lovely lighting right now. I'm telling you, no, this man. Look, there's another dock. Which one did we come through? We came on through this one to a small one. We came to this one. We didn't come through this one. Look. I gotta pause here for a second so I can take a picture of this. Simply beautiful. Beautiful beyond words. I mean, you can't put words into it. I'm so glad that uh, Betty took us out here. Boardwalk here is just to, uh, you know, that's where these these little bastards are having sex all over the freaking place. Yeah. 
so we had to do a pit stop on this little island um bathroom break as as we say um and it's just kind of cool to really get to explore some of this see what it is and to uh get access to this this is not normally something that anyone could get access to i'll say right now but because uh betty is uh mikusuki we're privileged to be able to get that access That's cool. That was a boardwalk out there, man. Uh -huh. yeah, there's another boardwalk. Yeah. yeah. Make a little snap chat from a boy's sock. Do not be mistaken, that is not Bigfoot. That is Captain Planet. Just because he has long hair and a beard does not make him Bigfoot. Sometimes when I dress in all camo and Spanish moss, so I look like a swamp ape, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Good I people, follow him fun. online. <laughs> I have too much fun doing this. <laughs> oh, man. We got that of a camping trip out there for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, listen, this guy doesn't even know me. He tells me, hey, I like your... I like your Spider-Man outfit. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we could we could start a Marvel comic now. <laughs> Captain Planet and Spider-Man. <laughs> Captain Planet and Puerto Rican Spider-Man. Yeah, oh, right. where's someone now? <laughs> Instead of shooting webs, I'll be shooting bichuelas. Right. Hey man, I used to live in Puerto Rico. Yo. I told everybody I spoke perfect take, Spanish. Take a look I could at that little. Cerveza, El Banya. <laughs> Yo, check out the little. Uh, Boardwalk. Yeah, which I don't know if you guys know this, but Dos Cerveza El Baño means, hello, my name is Garrett. Doesn't I would like two beers. By no, the way, no. where's the bathroom? It means two, two, two beers, the bathroom. Yeah. There's no hello there. <laughs> <laughs> we came from this one. This is the other one. It's hard learning Spanish in Puerto Rico. They oh, yeah. all the endings off. They're like, buena noche. Yeah, yeah. Or just buena. <laughs> I tell you, man, if you had to survive out here, you'd be okay, man. Yeah. The, amount of, the amount of crickets out here. Plenty of protein, huh? Right? How cool that is. I tell you, man, like right here in this little spot right here, this little spot right here, I make a little, little deck and just put a hot tub. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? right? Can I get a hot tub? Honestly, dude, I just want to stay out here and snorkel in a foot of water just to <laughs> learn some of the stuff. There's a lot of muck here, man. A lot of possibilities. Yep. Man, we are critters all over the place. That second little uh, boardwalk here is really cool. Yeah. The one to the bathroom, it's a long walk, but it's scary. Is it? Cool, I gotta it's go like film real, it. No, it's like real rotted out. Oh good, it's even better, I still gotta film it. <laughs> yeah, just be careful, George, don't fall through. Oh, I can't fall through, are you kidding me? If I fall through, then what's your course? There goes my camera. I mean, but it's a really long walk. Yeah. Facebook is like, man, please don't She warned you, dumbass. I can see it now. Look at this stupid ass. She told him not to go there, but he still went. But it's a cool walk. Yeah, I can see what you're talking about. This boardwalk is rotted. It it kind of like sinks in as you walk through. You have to watch your step for sure. Not like a nice rotted boardwalk to go down. Look at that. There, that's the one standing in that middle one. And then you have crickets and crap all over here. See, I'm short. I fit right through all this stuff. I don't know about Captain Planet. 
Woo, I heard some crack. Vegetation has overgrown over a lot of stuff here to get back to this outhouse. I just want to film it so you can see the journey. So there's the rest of it. And there's the final part of it. And here is your outhouse that you will find normally on a lot of islands. Always watch out for the rotted wood. So as you open the door, well, you definitely don't want to go into that one. As you open the second one, looks like something out of a horror movie. However, I will tell you this if you have to go to the bathroom and you're out here, and this is the only option you have, this is where you're going. Let me get my ass back. Here's a Bigfoot. Hey, Here's a Bigfoot ahead of me. What the hell is that thing? What do you get? To, you have to go film that, those, those uh, outhouses. Yeah. Seriously, man. Looks I'm like some, for some I think, tasty cocoa plums. These I, right I here. I think the outhouse is freaking what you call it. You ever had cocoa plums? It's scarier than the boardwalk. Cocoa plums? Mm -hmm. You ever had one? No. It's got a pit. Okay. So like, just remember, like, don't bite directly on it, but suck that outside off. Oh, man, it's delicious. That's what she said. It's delicious, man. You'll like it. Gotta get your cocoa plums. All right. Mm. Go ahead. Show us all you're doing. Go ahead. Mmm. We'll see there. See that? They have... look white, but they have a big pit because they're a plum, you know. We'll find one with the diarrhea later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, these are really, really good for you. Talk about organic. Yeah? Yeah, man. All right, go check out that bathroom, man. Oh, absolutely. Hey, Captain. It's nice knowing you, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Let us continue forward. So, this is a cocoa plum. And this is the tree where he got the cocoa plum from. And as you see, they're all over this place. I have yet to try a cocoa plum. I may just do it now. <laughs> I can hear him yelling in the background after seeing that bathroom. But like I said, listen, you got to go to the bathroom. You gotta go to the bathroom. There ain't no comforts of living here. You just go where you gotta go and call it a day. Listen, those bathrooms isn't as bad as me being on an island and having a scorpion land on my hand. I thought it was a little ringworm or a little, uh, you know, a little earthworm. Little did I know, sorry, little did I know it was a scorpion. I flicked. That bastard off so fast, I wasn't even going to play games. Well, that was exciting. Truly exciting. Let's get my ass back on that boat. And prepare our journey home. Today was an exciting day. We got caught in the rain. Hitting the bridge. She said, what? What? She'll pick us up tomorrow? Yeah. He's like, here, have a cocoa plum. It's really good. They're delicious. I said, my luck, I'll eat one and uh, I'll be in the bathroom. Betty, seriously. Uh -huh. I got a question to ask you, yeah. even on film. Yeah. The walk to the bathroom was not scary. Opening up those those outhouses and seeing all that leaves, it looks like something out of a bathroom out of a horror movie. <laughs> I'm at the rickety boards. 
Oh no, the Riggedy Boys were nothing. Opening that door and seeing all those leaves piled up, I didn't know though if it was a bathroom or it was a, a tombstone or something there. It was pretty <laughs> spooky. <Spooky>. Yeah. <sighs> all right, so Captain Planet found this grapes. Not to be confused with the cocoa plum, though. What other grapes? Stuff I wasn't eating yesterday, but I'll be eating probably daily from now on. <laughs> They're good, huh? Oh, yeah, they're delicious. Mmm. The cocoa plum's kind of like a... Grapes are good. A mild start Get past the seeds and the skin. Your mouth. It's just delicious. Mm. As we left the island, we encountered a blown-out balloon. We find so many of these in the Everglades that people just let loose. Now that the blue was disposed of, we had one island more to go to. One more location before we make our way home. Yet we encountered more balloons. On this day, we came home with 18 in total. Valentine's Day or your birthday. If you blow balloons, you probably suck. Sorry. <laughs> they look good on him. That pink really looks good on him. That should be a logo. Oh yeah, it's a big ass moth. Look at this. Look at the size of this moth. Look at that. Just show you my finger next to this moth. Eating the, um, turtle egg? Look at that. I haven't seen any tracks around, but it's an awfully clean hole. Where? All these holes that you see where there something's in there eating the turtle eggs. Hmm. See all the eggs around that you're well, we need, on? we definitely need to clean this up. Yeah. No, that's a lot of eggs. It was a lot of eggs. A lot of uh, broken eggs. We were gonna. If it's a raccoon or what? Maybe. Something. Maybe. Because all in here we had like we we weren't gonna clear this part out. We had a trail uh -huh. that went from here back and back way back in the day. There used to be a cook, a couple chickies back there. Just the the the, the well is capped off. Uh -huh. And so they used to come and park the the boats okay. up in there. How many acres is this island here? It's it's long and narrow. Okay. Okay. And when you get in the middle, there's kind of like a little gap where mm -hmm. um, looks like we needed to put um, a boardwalk to get over. But we were just going to leave it like a, a meandering path mm -hmm. to get in there. And we had um, used the airboat towards that end to make a way to get in. Yeah, the photo that John Bob took of me where I'm okay. facing my boat. Yeah. I was doing something facing the boat, and he took my picture. That's that's back there. Okay. Mm. We gotta come clean this out. Yeah. For sure. That's a darn thing that all the balloons were cooked up today. Well, we're stopping at the last island for today. And then we're gonna call it a day. Very cool trip. Pretty exciting. Seeing a couple amazing islands. Um, as I said before, these islands are most mostly private. So, uh, they're not for just regular people to come across, but it was a cool trip. As you see, no trespassing. Federal Indian Reservation, property of Miccosukee Tribe of Indians of Florida. Authorized persons only. Violators will be prosecuted. Fortunately for me today, I'm not violating, so that's a good thing. 
I had to switch my cell phone because my GoPro died, so the end of this video will be done all on the cell phone. I mean, this is a really nice, large size island. Very big size island. Wow. And what's up here? Oh, that's the toilet. Let's check out the fancy toilet. Man, if there's not freaking crickets everywhere, grasshoppers everywhere. Huh. Look at that big tree that fell over. I wish I shot this on my GoPro, but the battery died, so you do what you got. Of course, you really can't check out the fancy toilet because they're locked. Fortunately for me, I don't have to go to the bathroom. However, I will tell you, there are a lot of mosquitoes over here because I got bit a couple times just walking to the toilet. Why I wear this? Because when we go to tall grasses, um, any bugs are on it end up on you. Dragonflies spiders whatever all right so as I'm prepared to leave here I found a really cool beetle that I want to show you a video of come on little buddy you can climb that come on I stand corrected. I believe this may be a brown Florida stink bug. Stink bugs get their name because if you step on them and squash them, they emit a very foul odor. They are known as an invasive species. Well, it was a beautiful day. I'm done. I'm heading home. Time to get back to my family. Always great to have an adventure. Always great to have a good time. Thanks, Betty Osceola, Captain Planet. Until next time, guys. Be good. God bless. Click like, subscribe, and wait for our next adventure.